friends. Greetings up, friendos. We are here and we are ready to be crafting with toilet paper. Look at this thing. We got this like a really long time ago when we were in the previous house and we thought, you know what? It's really hot, horrible, heat worthy weather in the UK right now. No, oh my God, this is terrible. What, why? She's, we'll have to zoom in on it. She's made rocks. When we've reached a new low, she's made rocks out of paper. Is this turned into another thing of rock painting? This is paper mashing. Oh my god. It's painting on toilet roll. It's a very different concept. Just... Um, it's... It says, oh my god. I'll do a zoom in on it. Look what that says. It says, surprise not included. <laughs> it literally does say, surprise not included. That's really sad. It could have just not brought that and I wouldn't have expected a surprise. Well, now I'm just set myself up for disappointment. <laughs> but let's give it a go. It's also really hot today, so I'm sorry if I'm a big sweaty mess. I know. Now, hun, everyone knows that when you're making paper mache, you need some of your Andrex classic cream. <laughs> How do you classically clean your bum? Comment down below, guys. How Please do don't comment down below. We don't need to know that. Classic clean? Does that mean there's a modern clean? <laughs> Stylishly clean. Stylishly clean. Do it with a bit of razzmatazz. Yeah, I'm very distracted by the toilet roll. Right, so let's get into the mache magic cut. Now, guys, I want you to calm down because we've been promised there is no surprise inside. <laughs> there is nothing but disappointment inside this box. <laughs> oh, I opened it upside down. Ooh. Well, I think that's quite surprising. There's, um... Oh, oh, oh. There's two glitter pens. Oh, I that's thought cute. those were the surprises that aren't included, but they are included. I'm not surprised. <laughs> You're not surprised? I'm not surprised. Okay. Oh my god, I hate it when they tape stuff into the box. Like, jeez. My scoop. Oh. oh my gosh. Not surprised, I'm angry. Here it is. The mache mat. This is where the magic happens. Wow. <laughs> you excited, Patrick? Yep, that says mache magic, all right. I'm just gonna put that there, hun. Because I'm glad that Steph's filming because I read the instructions. Steph, don't. <gasps> Ooh, stickers. Oh, that's a surprise. There's quite a lot of, there's three sheets. I'm so confused. What? What's the surprise that's not included? The Did they say that just to get like, to set like a low bar and then you get excited that the surprise is inside? <laughs> <laughs> this is an art supply that just has very low self-esteem. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, you've bought me, don't get too excited. <laughs> It's the smallest instructions known to man. That's smaller than like Bible text. How, Bible am, I supposed, text. how am I supposed to read this? This is really small. It's in like every language you can imagine. Step one. <laughs> You're okay there. It's so small. Tear the toilet paper into small pieces. The finer the pieces, the better the shape turns out. So we've got the toilet roll. Mm -hmm. uh, fill the mold and add water in two phases, as noted in steps two and three. Oh, I just filled myself a water bottle up over on my desk. We can nick that if you want. Okay, if you want to. Now, that moves me on smoothly to the unsurprising shapes. Oh, hello, Creston, if you come to see us. Look at this man. Right, we have got the choice of a heart. Oh, like romantic, like or that. An egg. Those are the two that it's came with. I'm thinking, because I'm very predictable, I want to go with the egg because that's kind of shaped like a guinea pig. I reckon. You were saying earlier on that what? you might make something inspired by a hippo today. No. No, you are with that idea. <laughs> no surprises. I'm no surprises. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to get the stickers wet, so I'm just going to move that out of the way, dear. That would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want that. The instructions say to take the top of it off, and this is where we're going to be lining okay, so with the uh, strips. Okay, so let me get in close to look at these. Let me just get, get into the old classic clean. We're going to be making a classic guinea pig. And also because it's toilet roll, I was thinking 
it should come out white, which gives a nice base to colour it in. You could use like Pasca pens or the oh, glitter pens. Oh, if you use these, I was going to say we've got glitter pens or stickers. Well, that's it. The stickers I was thinking to be perfect for guinea pig eyes. I so, might get the Pasca pens out. Too. Yeah. So it says to do little tear off little bits. Yeah, I need you to show me like how this works because I have hmm. no idea. It says obviously the smaller the bits, the better. But the reason that I'm going for ones that are, I would say, kind of big is because I'm hoping. I haven't done paper mache in years, right? We're talking like since primary school. I was school. scared of paper mache because we had to make a Viking helmet and we had to make it on a balloon and then and we had, had to pop, pop the it. balloons. Yeah. And there was a whole classroom of balloons popping and it was not a good time did for me. Give you, did it give you war flashbacks? <laughs> there we go. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm doing slightly bigger ones just because I was hoping that it might make some texture on it. You know, maybe like a Texel pig or... <laughs> A teddy pig, you know, ones that have a bit more texture and stuff too. More really. of like a fluffy pig. Mm hmm Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna try my best and fill it as best I can because when we add the water, you know, it's just gonna like turn to mush. So. <laughs> turn to nothing. You know what? I wonder what happened. Oh just... no! <laughs> You're getting impatient. I want. I'm more excited to put it in the press and like squeeze this it. This is less about artistic style at this point and more about Adam just having no patience. I want to do a really good job of it. I want there to be lots of paper in there. I'm gonna add a bit more water. <laughs> Has anyone else ever crafted with toilet roll? Yeah. Do you guys do make paper mache stuff? Because like, if you take it seriously and stuff. You know, Steph and I are pretty casual here, but uh, if you do take it seriously, you can make some really amazing things with it. I've seen people make like masks and stuff and hey! <laughs> oh, look at these cute little boys. They've been poping. I need to spot clean these these little uh, messy bachelors over there. They're, They're only cleaned clean out like last night. Yeah, we g gave them like a full clean yesterday. But as you can see, because they're bachelors and they have no woman to impress, uh, they poop and stuff wherever they please and they spread their hay everywhere. They live like real messy men. Surely this is just gonna cause like a water avalanche. Ah, I'm glad you said that because this is where we introduce the <gasps> water catching tray. Wow, technology because has what, advanced. Because <laughs> this collects the water. What you do is you put the thing in like so. Uh-huh. You put the thing on top because this is what's gonna press in. Okay. I might have filled this too much. It's then supposed to... <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna break it before I even get to use it. I might put a little bit too much toilet roll in. Get in there. Oh, <laughs> yes, there we go. Uh -huh. So it's in. Uh -huh. And then we just have to squish it in. I think that means that it's done. <laughs> I think that's like a good sound. That means we're making paper mache. I think that means that it won't go around anymore. So, let's lift it up. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's pushed down at all. <laughs> you know what? I might just do this myself. How long do we have to leave it to dry? Until it's dry. <laughs> okay. That's the whole point of paper mache. And mashing. how long's that? I, uh, hold up. Now I've got to let it dry, but because it's it's he's, he's very wet. I might have gone overboard with the water a little bit. Uh -huh. But that right there is the perfect. Oh, it looks like a hard boiled egg. It doesn't look like an egg. Off. That looks like the perfect. I mean, if you did two halves, you could make an egg if you wanted to. And like glue them together. Yeah, but I think that's gonna look perfect as like a little guinea pig running around when he's dry. I really like that. Did you want to do a heart or do you want to do an egg? What do you want to do? I want to do a heart because okay. I'm romantic. Okay, Steph's actually doing it properly. You know how I was just chugging it in with the uh, bottle? I forgot to use the handy dandy scoop provided. We should keep this afterwards for the washing up powder that we have. <laughs> Don't you want to make more mache magic? <laughs> That's a good scoop, that. We could cook with it. Do I have to fill the whole thing? Uh, I think it depends on how much you use in here, because Steph is actually... I haven't used much. I think Steph's done it right, and she's put like a nice small amount in. So yeah, just tip it in there. Make sure to get it all wet. Yeah, that's great, hun. 
I've only used one square of toilet roll. I'm not sure if oh, that's Oh, so like... yours will be super thin and like super fine. Yeah, I'm worried that mine might break. I wonder if I should put a bit more toilet roll in just to... I think yeah. you should mache magic it. I think it, it might not be sturdy enough to... Uh... Well, we are talking to a strong and sturdy woman, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Adam's compliments. He compliments women like he compliments cars. <laughs> and houses. Uh, you know, I'm very lucky that Seth doesn't... Well, I think she does mind. <laughs> like, guys, what's, what's your opinion, right? If you called someone that you love built to last... Strong and sturdy. Yeah, that's that's a compliment, right? Four by four wheel drive. <laughs> off-roading potential. We love an off-roading woman. <laughs> okay, I've only done mine as like a thin layer. I, it does look outside. good though. Whereas yours is like a, a solid object. You be careful with that. <laughs> She's like dropping it. Oh my god. <laughs> It'll be fine. She's like smashing it up and dropping it. And so, oh yeah, here's Adams. It's really big and it's been dropped a million oh, look, times. Oh, mine fits really nicely. Now, mm -hmm. do you remember what to do or do you want me to walk you through it, hon? Do I put it in the tray now? Or? That's right, yeah, into the tray. Like this? Yep. And do then... I put it upside down? No, 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 otherwise it won't. Or do you? I don't know. Because Although... there's holes for it to drain out the top. Well, I did it this way and it was fine. No, it, it has to be that way, otherwise the press will fall out. And then you got to put it in here. Oh, I'm checking the instructions. Where are the instructions? <laughs> I'll press in the main. Oh my god, it is so small. I'm not sure if I can read this Bible text. That's sm That's smaller, right? The text in the instructions is smaller than like an eye test. It's crazy. Okay, let's just figure it out. <laughs> I mean, see what I mean? She just won't read the instructions. <laughs> I tried. She? The text is too small. There we go. So let's uh, unsqueeze. I'm doing this bit for Steph because, you know, she struggles with her wrists. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there's water in there. Water's came out of mine. That's a promising sign. Okay. And then what you need to do, because the, the mold's in two bits, you have to split the mold carefully and take it out. That's it. Yeah, that's it. You're doing it. Hey, that's not too bad. What do you mean not too bad? It's great. It's not as good as mine. It's all right. You know what we get to do now? Wait for them to dry. Wait for them to dry. <laughs> I bet yours is going to take a long time. You tell them, Christ. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys, here's an update. Steph's beautiful. It's dry, it's strong, it's perfect. Mine... <laughs> Mine's really hot at the minute because I've tried to blow dry mine, I've put mine in the microwave and it's still a bit damp because I think I made it like a solid a solid like lump instead of a nice thin thing like Steph's. So I'm just gonna make do and can you touch that? Oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> it's like it's made of boiling water. <laughs> it's like an egg. <laughs> So I'm just going to do my best with it because I really want to put some of the stickers on it. And I've been playing this while I'm waiting. <gasps> Is that new leaf? Yeah, I bought a new, well it's an older game now at this point, but I bought a new cartridge of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing it with one of my friends at the moment. It's been really fun. The reason that I wanted to do a guinea pig is because I saw a certain set and it immediately gave me, do you remember, oh, what was it called? Littlest Pet Shop. Yeah. We're talking like, we're talking like in the mid nineties or something. It's a long time ago. But look at these, look at the little, like the eyes and the little like muzzles and noses. Like they, they and like these could be ears. It gives me like such Littlest Pet Shop vibes. Oh, uh, Littlest Pet Shop, the ones with like the more anime eyes, that was like in the, like, Early 2000s. Was it? Or am or I like... thinking puppy in my pocket? No, I think I you're remember. thinking... Am I thinking of the right one? Yeah. It was such a long time ago. Oh my God. It wasn't love. that long ago. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm gonna. Get... He's still so warm. Oh my God. Like, look, look. Mine's not going to be the best, okay? Are you doing some damp crafting? Damp cra Dank crafting. <laughs> so what I was thinking... I might use Posca pens on this as well. Because I feel like those will handle it. Well, but... they say that Posca pens can, like, draw on anything. And I've never heard if they can draw on, like, hot water. So <laughs> this will be... I'm going to put his, his little snoot on first. Oh! How's that going for you? <laughs> Are these even sticky? What? I wanted to do the nose first, because that was like the driest part. Oh dear. 
<laughs> no! I've got a pride stick on my desk. Have you? Yeah. Oh my god, am I allowed to use this? It's still in the package. Yeah. yeah, it needs opening up. It's just because my other one that I had that we used in that Mariah or Elizabeth video, it's like melted or something in the heat. Something weird. I think Mariah Elizabeth cursed that pride stick. It like <laughs> just melted. It was really weird. So is this one an actual pride stick? Oh mm. good, because it's a heat wave. I was worried that this one had like melted as well. Pride sticks. I don't know about you guys. They like they smell so nostalgic. Did like you, school. Yeah, did you use these in school? And Apparently stuff? in America, they use something called Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue? Yeah. I'm not sure I know what... I don't think it's a brand over no. here. No. Is that just like P... I assume like PVA glue, like child safe glue? Has that helped it stick? It, it's on. Okay. <laughs> like in, before it just slipped off. What colour eyes should I go for, hun? Um, which guinea pig are you making? Uh, this is gonna be an OC, so you can go with Eva. An OC. I quite like the ones with eyelashes across, like, these the ones top up here. Bra. Should we go with those ones? Yeah, go for it. I'll go with these ones here, okay. Good call on the Pritt stick as well, honey. It's my it's my fault for making it too thick. I got too excited. It's usually Adam's fault. I got to <laughs> No surprises, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna put that one on there. Oh, he's gorgeous. Look at him. I'm gonna call him Carlton. And put his other eye on. Oh, oh. It's dead now. I hope someone's come to see me. You're gonna give me some- Oh no, he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted your creative advice, don't run. <laughs> That's how you know how damp this is, that even like glue will glue, glue is on. <laughs> I'm, I'm persevering, because I want, I want to do a good job. Yeah, I screwed up, but I want to do a good job. <laughs> oh, it's a little baby. Should we give him some ears? Oh yeah, because I think I think these I'm not sure what these are. They look like little mustaches, but <laughs> I think these would work well as little guinea pig ears. I might go with these ones. These are tiny, they're so small. We'll put one there. Very good. And then we'll get the other one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for letting me choose the glue, hun. <laughs> I would have been doomed. We'll put the other one on there. Are you in the mood for some glitter glue? Oh my god, you, you want me to ruin it? <laughs> I can put some glitter glue on it if you want. Bedazzle it. I hope you weren't attached to this because I'm about to make it a lot worse. I think gold would be the best one. I'm just gonna have it face me a second. Oh, you're ugly, aren't you? Look at you. It's not your fault I brought you into this world. You didn't ask to be brought into this world, did you? You poor thing. Make the suffering stop. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so if we do that, if we have that go up there, and then if I move this to the side, we could give him some little cheeky bits. I haven't decided what I'm doing with mine yet. Do I use stickers? Do it, I use Posca pens? It can't pens? be much worse than this. Trust me, honey. <laughs> he's, he's falling apart in my hands. Look at him. Is this giving anyone else Lutless Pet Shop nostalgia? <laughs> yeah, if it's been left in the sun and then dipped in a vat of acid, maybe. It's like, help me! I didn't ask for this. But I will say that I'm having a good time. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's all we can ask for. That's all we can hope for at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry if you came for an aesthetic paper mache, but... I think anyone who came here for aesthetic things stopped coming here a long time ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I do appreciate it. The pressure's that. off. <laughs> I bet you've got everyone digging out the LPS collections as we speak. <gasps> really? Which one does it look like, guys? Um, I don't think any of them had names. They were normally like Cat 1.265. <laughs> you remind me of Cat Model 73275. I swear that's what the Littlest Pet Shop fandom are always like on Reddit. <laughs> <gasps> Are you dragging the littlest pet shop Reddit, honey? How rude. No, because I sometimes go on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the only reason I know this. <laughs> I'm just trying to like thicken it up because he looked a bit sparse. Oh, that'll take it longer to dry. <laughs> Look, I'm damp. This is damp. The theme of the video today is damp. The theme of the video is, will it dry Will, it, will it ever dry? <laughs> I, I don't think it looks that bad, right? Oh! I've grabbed some Arteza paint markers. Mm-hmm. What's in? Oh, I remember these. But these were sent from Tara. Yeah, Tara sent us them. I was very impressed with them when we used them last year. Look at these bad boys. Some nice colours in here. And it's very toilet paper coloured right now, so it'd be nice to... Can I just say that I'm really glad that yours is dry? 
Sam. <laughs> oh no, I put my arm in mine. No! <laughs> oh no! Oh, who's Pappy's little disappointment? Let's go over there. Oh. oh no, this does feel like drawing on toilet paper. You know how it sort of like disintegrates as you. <gasps> Be careful now. Because Steph's is definitely dry as well. I would say that Steph has done it correct. I might try rub it on like. Yeah, really gently. I have to admit, for what it is, I think it's quite fun. Like, I, I, I like. <laughs> it's so funny. such a random kids' craft set. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. I yeah, need it's to make a one. Good idea. I have no idea why anyone wants to make one of these. What you're supposed to do with it afterwards? Because, like, uh, up until today, uh, like we said, I don't think I've done paper mache since I was like six or seven or oh, something. Oh yeah, definitely not. Been a long so it's been time. very nostalgic, and for what it is, I mean, it works. I've done a terrible job, but it does work. I do like that texture you're getting on it, though. <laughs> I wasn't going for texture, but thank you. Did a big chunk of yours just fall off? No, I've spun it round so I can see what I'm doing. What's that? <laughs> oh yeah, maybe a big chunk did fall off. <laughs> Let's not speak about that chunk. <laughs> I love how uh, I'm trying to film the process and she takes it off the desk and puts it in her lap. Listen, you can see the process when it starts looking cute. Right now it's no. not looking All cute. All right, Let -let's, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so the top half I want to try and do with this glitter glue. Oh, good luck. Because <laughs> it might tear up a bit less than the... Uh, It'll strengthen mitt. it as well. It'll give it a nice glitter glue shell. I have like a vision for what I'm trying to do with... Uh, Mine okay. as well. What's your, what's your vision, dear? You know how like magical girl anime is really popular? Yes. I want to do something that feels like it's like a magical girl, like compact or weapon or something that like... Oh, that's a really cute idea. Yeah, so it's got like some pink and blue on it, which is sort of aesthetic, and then it's going to have shiny stuff, and then we're going to put stickers on it. That's actually really cute. Yeah, you're really getting into like the, uh, the spirit of this challenge, whereas... Oh, man. Look at you. Is it cute? I don't know. Is it? I'm using my finger to rub this up. Oh no, I can't, no! It's going to be such a thin layer if you smoosh it around. It helps it be more even. Oh, okay. She always brings the cute, this one. Look at this one. Don't look at me too much. I haven't put much makeup on since it's Oh my too god, hot. it's so hot though. It just melt off the face. What's the thing? The, the makeup that I did put on earlier is like basically all melted off at this point. Okay, a little update of how my magical girl bean thing is doing. <laughs> it looks cute. It's like a magic jelly bean. I've put some golden dots on over here. Look how sparkly it is. Wow. High it's quality art. It's cute. You, I, hey, you've done a really good job. <laughs> and I see that you're up to something over here. I feel like I've done such a bad job. I wanted to try and draw it instead. I really don't like mine. <laughs> But that's all right, because sometimes... Oh, I think it's cute. You're always too hard on yourself. It's just very wet. <laughs> sometimes art doesn't go the way you want it to, and that's okay. Yours never seems to go the way you want it to. It's very true. This was my this was my original vision. I was like, oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> the one that you're drawing is starting to look a bit more like a possum. <laughs> it looks like a possum. What do you want me to do? you want me to give him a tail? So since Adam used this one with like the facial features, yes, quite like the look of some of the ones on here. Bows and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking like the balls are like the gems are quite like magical girl. Yeah, that's a really good. Uh, I am very impressed with the stickers that it comes. I know. With I'm definitely well. going to keep these and probably stick them in my sketchbook at some point because yeah. I'm not going to waste all these on uh, on <laughs> pepper mache toilet roll beans. Oh, she's in her element. She's got the stickers <laughs> and she's sticking them on. Oh, are these like gemstones? Yes. Because what's a magical girl device without gemstones? Magical girls do always have a lot of bling on, don't they? They do. They love their bling. Do you think they go home and go on their live journal and add some uh, some blingies to it? <laughs> That's what this looks like. <laughs> it looks like a blingy. <laughs> it looks cute. <laughs> Do you want to see mine too? So there he is. Because I did such a bad job, I've drawn you a possum. That's Steph's gorgeous magical girl bean. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, do check out the Patreon because we are a publicly funded channel now. We make videos because you guys allow us to. And don't forget to subscribe so we can see you for another doodle date. And if you want to see some more crafting videos, we have a playlist and they usually go terribly wrong. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>